Hello. I'm back sooner than I thought I, I was. Here's what's the issue. Yesterday, yesterday was Friday, Thursday, I was trying to process a payment for a customer and my internet was down. I've never had that problem. Heidi's having a fit. And uh, Ron was here when that happened, so um, I told my customer, I'm like, I'll call you back either tomorrow or Monday and we'll get the payment taken care of. So uh, I called Comcast, talked to a girl, and uh, you know, she's like, well, according to me, your modem's working fine and you know, and all this stuff. And she set me up to have a serviceman come look at it. And then the next morning, no, see, I talked to her Thursday. So then Friday, I call because I hadn't heard when my appointment was for my when the person's supposed to come. I talked to this guy who was very aggravating. He uh, he made me mad. <laughs> I, did not, I didn't have a good experience with the first guy I talked to. He made me he treated me like I was an idiot. That's how he treated me. And uh, he's like, Ma'am, I don't know why she set you up to go have a serviceman come. Your modem's working fine. It's probably, do you have it hooked up to a router? I said, yeah. He says, well, it's probably your router. He says, you need to hook up the modem directly to your computer. I said, but I need Wi-Fi. I need a router because I process payments through my phone, and I need the Internet to do that. Kitty quit. And uh, he's like, well, uh, you need to get a modem with built-in Wi-Fi. I said, can you bring one out here and have somebody hook it up for me? Well, yeah. And then we went through this whole scenario of, can I have your account number? I said, all my stuff is wireless, so it's all in my email. And since I cannot access my email, I cannot give you my account number. And so since I did not have any account number, um, they can talk to me about everything. But to order uh, something that costs money, they cannot do without the account number. Kitty, quit it. Come here. Here, come look at this. So, um, Dad went down the street to Comcast, because there's an office literally right down the road, and um, got a printout of one of our bills, and uh, she said, and printed off the instructions on how to hook up a new modem, and if I unhook this one, Dad could take it there, and they would, they would exchange it out for one with built-in Wi-Fi. But I need somebody to come. I can't do it. Because it involves pulling the, the desk out, and the computer's down that side, and the router's up here, and that needs to be taken off. And there's also the air rave hooked all up into this, and I can't. That's I, if it has more than one cord, I'm out. I really this stresses me out. And uh, so I called back, talked to a really nice guy then, and uh, my computer is trying to tell me something. I said, so a guy will bring out a modem with built-in Wi-Fi and get me all work working. He's like, yeah, my appointment's set up for Monday. Today, Saturday, I wake up. Internet's working. I think it might have to do with the weather we had because it was real windy and crappy. And I think something happened in the lines. That's what I think. But now my air rave isn't working right. It's all... Uh, it's got two green lights and two blinking red lights. Blinking red bad. It should be four green. <clears throat> so I called Sprint today. Talked to the Airwave guy. And uh, so I reset that. I just reset it again. And um, tomorrow, if it's still not all hooked up, it has something to do with satellites to help. Because where our house is, we get really bad signal here on, on Sprint. Sprint sucks anyway, but... That's what we have. We're on a contract. I froze again. Come on. Don't freeze on me. Computer. Okay, you're back. Kind of. Yeah, you're back. Um, so tomorrow, I'm going to call Comcast if everything's still working okay. I'm going to cancel my Monday appointment. And I'm also going to call Sprint and talk to them again about the air rave. Electronics and me in the last few days have not been the best of friends. Because uh, without the internet, 
and now that the air raid blew, it was down, I, I couldn't do anything. That one night on the phone, it was like, I can't do anything. So I had to turn my Wi-Fi off when the internet's not working and pick up 3G, and 3G is sporadic in here because, um, like I said, don't have a good signal. So, Because usually if the air raid is working correctly, I have five bars, which is full bars, and uh, now I'm, I'm blinking between one and two. Three maybe, but one and two, which is not a good signal. So, yeah. Okay, on to the fun stuff. Uh, we just got home. We went to Lowe's and bought a industrial shelving unit to put in our back room for more shelving. Uh, we were looking at fire pits again. We saw the one we like. It's actually $30 cheaper at Lowe's, the one we saw at Menards. Um, we saw the one that we liked again. We didn't buy it, but we're still looking. Um, and then we stopped at Walmart, which is right next to Lowe's. Usually Walmart is right next to Lowe's, now that I think about it. Um, I bought a couple lollipops. We used to have a factory in our town that made these round lollipops called Quicks when I was a kid. And um, they shut down, but I got a wild cherry and a watermelon. I looked for a grape because y'all know I looked for grape, but they didn't have any. I didn't buy much. I bought a bag of carrots, those two lollipops, and a, uh, a little package that has two pieces of naan bread in it because I'm going to make Indian food sometime in a few days. The bread's dated to like March 1st, so. I knew I had a little, little time. And we got home, and I got a package. So we're going to play in the package. I got the tape off. I don't know what's in here. I mean, I knew it was coming. I was told it was coming. I was told it had um, more paper. It had brochures for what was in world. But, ha uh, ha ha, kitty, what is these? She doesn't have a package open over here right now, actually. I took everything off my desk when I thought I was going to have a serviceman come here the other day. So I had an empty tote, and I just threw everything in a tote. tote. So, here you want some of these? And go down there and get them. She's like, yes, I want some of those. Thank you, Joan. Kitty loves those. And Kitty. And another pad of paper. Thank you. I really do. I love paper. Um, let me pull this out. Brochures. Oops, so little things in here. I don't want to miss anything. Box tops. Did I miss anything else? Okay, I think it's empty now. Got some box tops. I got a little tiny pad of paper. Look at this. That little tiny thing with a bird on it. And a little uh, eraser. It looks like an, a little pink owl. And a Hello Kitty notepad. That's cute. And a lot of people are really into Hello, Hello Kitty. I think she's cute, but I'm not one of those, oh my god, Hello Kitty people. I know some who are, though. <laughs> but she is cute. And it's got glitter on there, but it's the kind of glitter that's sealed in that looks pretty. Because glitter does look pretty until it's all over you. Then it's not so pretty. We put it up here with my... This is my stack of paper things. That, that is one thing I do have on my desk right now. But she sent me some stuff from Walt Disney World because she knows I'm interested in going there. So I have reading material to look at while I'm... Um, well, this one's for Universal Studios. And the run Disney, because her husband just ran, was it a 5K? A 10K? What did he run? He ran, I know it wasn't a marathon, but, because he ran in Disneyland a couple years ago. This is Be Our Guest Guide. This has got your guide to all four theme parks and beyond. I'm excited about this one. That's in a nice little folder and everything. Um, what does this say how far he ran? I don't know. 5K. 
He gets 5K. But thank you for all of these. I'm going to actually get comfortable and lay down and look at some of them. Because I'm excited. It's a trip I'm not planning until maybe the fall or the spring of next year. We'll see how it goes. i got to put these in with my box tops. And I can't lose this little guy. This can stay on my desk for the kitty. And there's a fuzzy thing. So, I've been aggravated. That guy yesterday morning on Comcast, he had me in tears. Really, he did. He was... I'm not liking him. I kept saying, your system is flawed. <laughs> I said, you guys prefer the internet, and you know you do paperless statements, and that's the only way that people can get there. Oh, I was so mad. So there should be some kind of a, of a quick pass if you don't have your account number, like a social security number or a PIN number that you set up in case of an emergency or a question that you know for sure that I am the person. He says, I know you tell me who you are, but how do I really know who you are unless you give me your account number? I would gladly give you my account number if I could access it in my internet. That's not working right now. Oh. Oh, I'm so mad. And Dad came in and he goes, are you okay? I'm like, I'm just very mad. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm really thinking it really was the weather and the lines because it was so windy. And everything was, yeah. So maybe that's what's wrong with the... Sprint thing too, maybe that'll come around also. But they're all getting calls tomorrow. So I'm back. Yes, I am. Did you like your treats that Joan sent you? Auntie Joan sent you another package too. Yes, she did. You gonna take a nap? It happened the other day. I did not have a camera on. I was laying in bed. She was in her box, cleaning herself. And she tipped herself in the box off the bed. It was hilarious. <laughs> she couldn't figure out what happened. <laughs> oh, it was funny. I knew it was going to happen sometime because she just leans right into it. And I knew one day she was just going to lean too far and it was just going to go off the bed. But and I try to keep it away from the bed as much as possible. But she plays with it and moves it around. And I'm talking about you. I'm telling your, I'm telling your embarrassing story. Yes, I am. I don't think she cares. She don't care. All right, I'm going to shut up now. And uh, I should go comment, but I really don't feel like it. I really feel like shedding the jeans and the bra and the shoes, putting on my jammy shorts, and laying down and reading Disney stuff. <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen. It is 6 o'clock. Got to take my pill. Six o'clock is pill time. Today is Saturday. I've been doing really well. I haven't missed one yet this month. Sometimes I do forget. Not very often. I don't mind if it's placebo week, but I get mad at myself if I forget my regular medicine. So I have four more doses, and then I go into placebo week, which means in about five days I'll be hormonal. Ugh. I know, TMI, but <laughs> now you know. Bye.